Hello, Gamer Nom is back. In this video, we're going to reach 400 million bellies in Blast Fruit Second C. But before starting, show your support by using Star Code Gamer Nom when purchasing your Robux. Just a disclaimer, guys every time you use my Star Code, I get pained. Wait, Gamer Nom, I know you're going to tell us the best way to grind the Second C is by defeating Sea Beast. Hmm. No, guys. Okay, I'll admit that uh, defeating Sea Beasts here is really good. There are some pros and cons. First up, by beating Sea Beasts, you will have a chance to get Piece of Darkness, wherein you can summon uh, Regulus Darkbeard, and then there's a chance that you can get his Dark Coat, right? Yes, yes. I admit, that's a good one. Also, again, you can get lots of bellies from defeating a Sea Beast. Hmm. For those watching right now, do you have any idea on how much bellies can you get from defeating a Sea Beast? Guys, for me, I have a two times, uh, what do you call this, two times money game pass, so the reward that I will get will be doubled. So guys, here you go. CBC is almost defeated. There you go, guys. Okay, we got 399,861. And if you don't have a game pass, just divide it by two. But guys, there are problems in trying to grind this way. First off, CBC do not spawn automatically. There, uh, It's based on luck. So if you're unlucky, you might be spending lots of time just looking for a CB. So it's high reward, but it is not sure. Another way to grind is using Portal Fruit, right? In the second C, yes, using your C skill to grind chests. So just memorize the chest locations. I'm just gonna show it to you guys for those uh, who are new and still grinding in the second C. So at the Coliseum, this is the location of the first chest. There you go. Guys, no need to get all chests. Just uh, memorize like uh, an area where there are lots of chests. Also, this diamond chests. Once you get it, you just need to reset. Okay? So, I'm going to show you the areas. Next up is Winter Castle. Wait, there you go. So, here guys, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Okay, 9 chests in an area. That's 1. That's 2. Again, guys, if you're kind of lazy, just... Go straight to the area, the storage area of this castle. There are three chests there and get the diamond and then just teleport. Use your sea skill to the other areas, okay? So that we already got like uh, one, two, three, six, right? Or seven. This is the seventh or eighth. There you go. And two more. So again, guys, that's fast. You don't need to kill anything. You don't need to wait for it to spawn, especially if you're using a private server. There you go, last two. Next up, guys, don't forget this one, the Skull Island. Or the Forgotten Island. There you go. So, we already have one here. Again, guys, Gamer Nom, you missed a chest, blah, blah, blah. Guys, uh, you don't need to get everything. You just need to get a flow wherein you can maneuver fast in the area and get chests. There you go, another one here. And... On the boss area, there are three. That's one. That's uh, I'll call this diamond chest. That's one, two, and the last one is here. Three. Okay, so after this, I know you will be reminding me if ever I didn't include this area, the cursed ship. <laughs> yes, I remember those comments in my previous video. So there you go, cursed ship. Guys, here you go. We have one, two, three, every room. <laughs> so I think there are six rooms here plus one, so that's seven. Also, there are other chests here again, but I won't be getting it. Why? Because, again, it will cost me time instead of just uh, rejoining the game, right? So, again, just a reminder, no need to get all chests, join another, another server, or rejoin your private server. Okay, so next one, guys, you will be seeing the Cyber Grace, but again, this is just a bonus. No need to include this one, okay? So, how do you get this one again? It is an NPC here located uh, at the top of the lava area. There you go. Again, you don't need this race. I'm just gonna include this one on my guide. <laughs> so, there you go. Anyways, V4 is a must if you're gonna try what I'm going to do. But guys, again, for this guide, you don't need to use this one. Okay, so next up, we will be needing, yes, V4. It will be OP with the V4. <laughs> so guys, next up, we will be needing the Blizzard Fruit. Okay, so why Blizzard Fruit Gamer Nom? Hmm. Blizzard Fruit plus Cyborg? Okay guys, that smells really good, right? Something's fishy, Gamer Nom. No, no, no. So guys, as you can see, we have Mastery 1 on this fruit. So we will be grinding Mastery. Don't worry, it's really fast because again, this is a Logia-type fruit, which means you can 
use your M1 on other mobs and use your fruit to last hit them. Okay, so grinding will be a lot faster. Anyways, I will be skipping the mastery grinding part. I go and go straight to the technique. Okay, so guys, you can apply this one on the cursed ship. So first, we won't be using our cyborg abilities. Okay, for those who don't have cyborg. Okay, again, this is second C. So let's say you only have the blizzard fruit. So we are here at the ship deck camps, right? You will be getting 12,250 bellies every quest. So use your V skill here. There you go. Guys, that's auto lure and they are almost dead. Just one skill to finish them off. Maybe C skill. There you go and that's it guys. See that? That's really fast. Plus the bellies that you will get here. Okay, one more time and you will be finishing a quest. Not the fastest way maybe but... Guys, no more luring, just use your V-Skill and that's it. Also, after this, right, you can just get the chests. See that? So guys, after getting the chests, maybe uh, you need to decide. Hmm, should I do one more quest or just rejoin? So you will be combining two strategies like defeating the mobs fast plus getting chests on this area. So gamer Nom, you've been giving us tips. If if you're gonna do it, what will you do, guys? I will do two quests. Yes, after this one more quest, then reset. So again, one quest, get the chest, and one quest, another quest, and then reset. Okay, next up, you can do the ship steward. Hmm, this is for me. It's kind of tricky because guys, uh, ship stewards spawn a lot longer compared to the sh uh, ship deckhands. So that's a problem. Also, the reward is almost the same. Okay. Also make sure to use your C skill in the middle to make sure that you will get all the mobs. So I think that's it. Again, repeat. And then that is our technique here with the blizzard. But guys, again, I haven't shown you yet. The most OP combo. One hit. I mean one skill using the awakened V4 cyborg. So guys, check it out. Ship the can spot. For those second C players, it will be really hard. I mean, you need to go to the third C first, right? So there you go. Next up, how about this mobs? Okay, so V skill. There you go. And boom. See that, guys? One skill is enough to beat them. Anyways, Gamer Nom, can I do this in the third C? Yes, obviously, guys. I think the best area is the cookie crafters check it out you can defeat eight for every v skill eight oh no no just seven guys i hope that they make this one eight so that you can like burst finish a quest right rush quest also you can get fourteen thousand bells here so while waiting for the cookie crafter to spawn they spawn really slow you can look for other mobs to defeat so that you won't be wasting your uh transformation Okay, guys, okay, so I think that's it for this video. Next video, I think we will be reaching 500 million bellies. <laughs> and I think I will be doing this until the update 20. <laughs> so I hope that the game will update before we even reach 1 billion, right? Okay, I think that's it for this video. Again, to all the viewers, subscribers, supporters, I really appreciate you all. This is GamerNom. GamerNom out.